So this exercise is a little bit of a challenge, but at the same time, because of the limitation, it's something that makes life easier a little bit for uh, somebody that finds it a bit intimidating to have to learn uh, things on the fretboard. Obviously, there are tons of frets, and sometimes if you want to learn you know, the function of a note or the the name of the note or many other things, do ear training on the you know, practical ear training, that might be a bit overwhelming to see the whole fretboard where this exercise actually, yes, it's challenging, but it might actually help you out. And basically the, the logic is to uh, find a note on a fretboard and then just focus on the notes that you can reach with your fingers. Roughly it's about three frets on each direction, so to speak, you know, further down or further up. So in this exercise, I'm going to focus on the function of the note to start with. So let's, let's pick a note. I'm going to pick here F on the seventh fret of the A string. And I'm going to try to start from the lowest note that I can reach with my fingers. And that's going to be the A on the fifth fret of the E string. That, because I'm in F now, that, that basically is the root and that would be the key of the moment. So imagine the what function is the note A compared to F in F major or in F anything really. So that would be the third. So I have the fourth, flat five, the fifth, sharp five, sixth, flat seven. Then I can go on the same string if you want, the sixth, flat seven, major seven, flat two, the second, the third, minor third, sorry. And I have the second. Flat three, major three, major third, fourth, flat five, fifth, sharp five. That's the fifth again, slightly out of tune. Sharp five, six, flat seven, and so on. Major seven, root again or octave, flat two. Remember that, you know, just by looking at that uh, section of the fretboard that I have overlaid here on this video. If you add seven to that number, you have the extensions. Most times, sometimes you have to think about it a little bit like the, the minor third, you know, the flat three can be a flat 10, but also the sharp nine, if you think of it as the, the sharp second, so to speak, which is something that we rarely say, the sharp two. Uh, we think about it more as an extension, as a sharp nine. So again, if you add seven to that number, you usually uh, end up with an extension. So this could be quite useful in the moment where you have to add extensions, let's say, to a chord or to analyze a chord, so you know what's going on in the area, and you don't have to worry too much about the rest. Obviously, you know, it's great to know it if you know your major scales and you can just think of the notes. And there are many ways to achieve this. This is a, just a practical way of doing this. Another way that you can explore that section of the fretboard is to just, let's say, the notes around that area. So you pick one note and then wherever you can reach you call that note so let's say a b flat b c and so on you know c sharp or d flat d um, an easier way would be to start from that note that you pick so let's say for f was a note before is e e flat or major seven flat seven and so on another way to challenge yourself would be to just play that first note listen to it and then sing another note and try to find that note that was the minor third. So that could be a practical way to do your training, but it's focused on the area that you can reach. Because if you think about it, wherever we can we are playing, most of the times it's just where we can reach that we can play. So if I do that enough, <clears throat> if I do that enough, I will have a local knowledge of the fretboard. You know, most of these exercises that I give are just that. They're just exercises. They're there to help you find your way and uh, ex you know get your knowledge of the fretboard a bit and expand your knowledge of the fretboard to this big. Really playing guitar means knowing tunes on the guitar and being able to improvise if somebody tells you to do so on a chord progression. So these are all things that do from time to time, don't be just be obsessive about them, but they will help you to expand your knowledge of the, of the guitar and the instrument and the fretboard and connect your fingers to your ears, your eyes, many things. But the more you do, the better you become. Uh, but as I said, ultimately, I would say that knowing tune on the instrument and knowing how to improvise and create something that is beautiful and emotional is you know, the goal. These are all tools that will help you to get better at this. Excellent. As always, subscribe, share the usual stuff.
Okay, I just wanted to remind everybody, as I've seen, there have been quite a few subscribers in the last couple of months. There are some freebies that you can download from my website, some templates and tracks and stuff like that. So first one, when you sign up to my mailing list, don't worry, I rarely send anything out. I will not spam you. The first one is a Guitar Kit Lite. This is a smaller version of a bit of bigger product that I will show you to get out to get later. Basically, just a bunch of templates that are quite useful for guitarists, teachers, and just if you're learning guitar. So, you know, chord charts, uh, seven chords, pentatonic shape, the five shapes, major scale, three note per strings. There are a bunch of things, uh, something to do with modes. And obviously, there's a link to the bigger product with all the templates that you can get in that. That's for sale, like all my other instructional things that I've made, uh, you know, and they're all digital downloads. In the shop page here, you can see there's a shop page with a bundle deals. You can get uh, four books with a uh, mp3 example this is basically all you get right there and obviously you can read about them in the rest of the page and you can buy them individually in the rest of the page you know when i used to sell them individually which i still do it's roughly 150 dollars you can get them from a donation of about 15 minimum and you can just pick you know depending on how you you know much value you feel you got from my uh, from my videos from my lessons to get the, the freebie so to speak all you have to do is to uh, sign up for my mailing list as i said so how do you do that just click to any of these lessons. There are tons there on that page. You will see you get a lesson. There is a My Music to Listen to on Spotify. There is, again, that Donate and Download link to the bundle. And here we go. At the bottom of the page, you can sign up here, subscribe. You will get, obviously, you will have to confirm your email first. And then in the second email, you will get the, the download link. And in this uh, little zip file, you will get what I just showed you, the guitar kit plus one track from my uh, latest album, which is now about five years old, six years old, one track from my previous album, which is about 10 years old, and then one backing track. Uh, obviously, my albums are free on Spotify, so you can check that, that out as well. All the links down in the description. So again, once you sign up, you get a, a confirmation email, and then you will get the link to all the templates. Thank you again for your support. Please subscribe. If, if, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and check out all the links and the pinned comment. There's always stuff there. All right, take care. Thank you again.